Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is yet another edition here of the Brilliantly Dumb Show. We are back. We are back for more. It is Sunday morning, and the Brilliantly Dumb Show means you got Mikey V in the house here today, and you got Joey D. Mikey, let's just give a warm round of applause for Joey D here this morning. <laughs> Joseph, well, uh, look at why, Joey why, D. <laughs> why, why do I need a round of applause? Is that why, your, why not? Why not, some would ask. Is that your It's Panera like, it's like a sympathy clap. This is the Panera... This is the sip club that I'm part of now. It's pretty special. <laughs> the sip club? Yeah, sip club. So you move out to Florida and now you're a member of the Panera Sip Club. You are really, <laughs> dude, you are really living in the simulation. You really are. The sip Burton, club. It's the first two months free. Then yeah. after that, twelve dollars a month, you get free coffee every two every two hours a day. You could have good deal. You could have ten cups of coffee a day if you want. Good deal. It's a good deal. I and think, I tell you what, you know what? They lot... got this hazelnut roast, Michael. It's I know pretty you're special. Been talking about that hazelnut dude, roast. There's a lot of everybody. companies that are going to catch a lot of heat on this episode. So Panera, that's a good move by Panera. That's 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 fair. It's the right thing to do. And by the way, it's a stone's throw away from me. It literally takes me a minute to get there. Can we sure. not keep? Can we not come at more companies this episode? Can we just try and lay off a couple? I have a couple of... things. I have a couple <laughs> things I got to say. Oh, I'm sure <laughs> he's got a couple things. <laughs> yeah. There's always a couple things with Michael. There's always Always something. Some, somebody's got a gripe with somebody who's d done him wrong. I'm <laughs> that is, they haven't, that is, and you know what? This is, neither of these things have affected me. I'm going to wait till the buy and sell. They haven't affected me directly, but I'm very displeased with a couple of things going on okay. in this country. Very Look, I'm 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 happy to jump into that. We're going to have a lot lot here on the docket today. But before anything, as we know, you're not going to find bigger NASCAR boys. Than these guys right here. And as you all know, the Phoenix Raceway is here. Unique one-mile wow. track located in the Desert Mountains, site of the championship <laughs> in November, Sunday, March 10th at 3.30 Eastern Standard Time. Where do you get that? You get that on Fox. There's rumors. There is rumors of the boys Talladega possibly. Talladega Nights. Of the boys possibly headed to Talladega. Not confirmed. Talladega. But rumors. I want all NASCAR. I want That's in April, no, Bob. Too. That's in April, Talladega. Yeah, whenever. The more, I'm ready. The more, <laughs> and more, the more and more I think about NASCAR, the more and more I want them. You know, I just think. Did you I see the think, last race was a three man like photo finish. Did you I see that, that Mikey? The, I think NASCAR is the wave of the future. I just joke. think I think NASCAR is the wave of the future. I really do. I think all things are trending up for NASCAR. I, I just I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I usually when I hop on trends early, I'm usually pretty good at forecasting. I just feel like NASCAR is on its way on an ascension. Now, whether or not that's because they decided to tie oh. into us a little bit, it could be. But I'm You're just saying about think, NASCAR, like it's just made its I way on the that, scene. No, no, it hasn't. But I think it hit a valley. And now I think it's going back to a peak. Everything's peaks and valleys. I think it's back on its way to a peak. That's what, what I'm saying. You know like, about NASCAR, Mikey. Story. You've watched two races. Oh, oh. About I know a lot but, about NASCAR. A lot. But, but one could lot. one could make the claim he's the face of NASCAR, if not. Well, one of I would faces. like I would sure. like little I would like little Dom to be the face of NASCAR. Wow. Let me yeah, tell you, no, that's a guy who loves his cars. Get that's Dom a guy who loves his cars. In anything other than we Chicago should get Bear him football. a little pen. We should get him like a little. <laughs> Fuck you. Bob. Just keep him out of the NFL, man. That poor kid. Yeah, limit his suffering, man. I tell really you what, there's going to be a lot of yeah, suffering when Caleb awesome. Williams joins the scene. And Joey D is on the board with a shot out of the gate here. And <laughs> Dude, he's been running. But Joe's, Joe's like trying to like, he's been trying to push this anti-Caleb agenda over the past 48 hours. But like, I, I have said publicly multiple times that I am a full believer that the Bears could draft this kid and he'll be a total bust. He'll I didn't know he's a Packers bust. fan, Michael. He's By a the Packers way, fan. Joe. Well, I mean, you're digging up, you're digging up tweets from God knows how long ago, Joe. He's, I don't know he's if he's a, a Packers fan. He's a Green Bay Packers fan, and he and he's maybe the Packers them for years. will draft him. You know, maybe they'll keep him under uh, Jordan Love for a few years, and then <laughs> that's really talk about talk about first world problems. That's first world problems right this, there, man. This guy's <laughs> antics have removed the 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 thoughts of him like when when usc was rolling in the middle of the year he was a no-brainer guaranteed first overall but this guy's got so many different antics to him that now people are talking about him 
being a bust and that he's not that bit, you know, that he's not that going to be that good and whatnot. I think so much has to do with just the way that he is. I think the only concern with him, I actually think he's unbelievable. If you looked like the first five weeks of the, the season, if not more, when USC was rolling, he was a no brainer. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think he was a no brainer after the Heisman season the year before. And then they projected him. He was going to be one, one. I just think, you know, there's going to be people that just don't like him because of all the, the, the painting of the nails and the crying to his mom in the stands and the not taking the interview after the UCLA game and not hand sh- no not doing handshakes with Utah after the Utah game allegedly but his uh the his, crying, his, the crying his, is really really his, fucking his, something to be old. Well, do, do you realize how much of a distraction it is for us to sit here and I don't watch you? I don't you watch him. I don't like, look at it. I just like, pick a spot on the wall to look at. So for I don't the, look at it. For those that I, listen I can't. on the audio. Cuts, he's just sitting there just crushing cucumbers. You got to know that we have to, like, when we see you eating the cucumbers, we have to address that at some point. What What is your address? I'm being quiet. I'm listening to what Mikey has to say. That's a good detox food, a cucumber. Very good. Mm-hmm. Very good. Very yeah, good detox. I need, a, I need a detox, and I need a detox in a bad Is it a rough way, week? Man. Rough week yeah, at it's Myrtle? It's the same shit, bro. It's now the same shit. Now, you said shit. you made a promise. You said, I'm going to be there so long. At least, I said, the first half of that week, you should really monitor what you're doing. And you came right out of the gates with like a McDonald's order. Right out of the gates. Say McDonald's. Was it McDonald's? Oh, yeah. I, I've been, I think you got, yeah. I, I have. It, it's been tough food wise. I've been working out like an animal every morning. I ran seven Good. miles yesterday. Whoa. Six, seven, seven miles. Yeah. Yeah. What are you training? There's for nothing else miles. to do in South Carolina, man. That place stinks. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's oh. Myrtle Beach is not, Jesus. it's not it, man. I'm sorry. Maybe the area that we were staying in, Bob, I'm not making this up. The area we were staying in, it stunk. I, I, I will say as far as Myrtle. Our South Carolina. We do. We we do. I'm sure Charles, I heard Charleston's nice, but Myrtle Beach ain't. I mean, you said South Carolina stinks, Joe. You said it was a broad stroke. Okay, maybe that was a what little. What about all the game, co- all the Gamecock faithful out there? They, uh, we have a lot of. I'm Gamecock actually wearing faithful. Gamecock colors you right now. You are, you are, you excited. actually, you are, you are black <laughs> and the maroon. That's right, that's right. But I'm I, just saying, the Myrtle Beach area that we were in, Bob, it was like something out of a Twilight Zone. It was really, it was bizarre. Like, it, I guess it's like this beach town, and they got all these gimmicky stores and stuff, and there's no one there, so it just yeah. felt. It felt like we were in the twilight zone. It's been, I always thought of Myrtle Beach kind of like an LBI, Michael. Um, if you give me. Yeah, and I'm not an around, LBI guy, dude. You're I'm, not I'm, an I'm not. LBI guy? Not you all. mean to tell me you not would rather go to Point Pleasant or to Wildwood over LBI? Yeah, L- LBI to me is like, it's, it's so hoity-toity to the point where it's like there's no... There's very little options like in terms of restaurants and bars and things like it's like it's very, very I mean listen, LBI's family oriented, but there's nothing to do in LBI. There's oh, nothing to do there. You got the chicken or the egg. Have you ever went to the chicken or the egg? I What's that, Bob? That. I just unbelievable I, Joe, some of the best yeah. wings that you'll you'll ever have. They're they're incredible. Yeah. I, I mean, listen, I've I've been to LBI multiple times. It's just I prefer to vacation elsewhere. Okay. That's fair enough. You have that right. I think Cape May is just I think Cape May has a lot more to offer. Shops, places for kids, boardwalk, mini Cape golf. Nice. Like, there's just more stuff. Go- I think just mini just golf goes options. a long way, let me tell you. Mini Fat golf per- is great. Fat Perez has a shot tomorrow to go to the PGA Tour, um, which is uh, absolutely what's, what's his current standing? It's every no, place, one no round. Standing. It's one round, Mikey. Yeah, lowest so one round. round one lowest round. round out of 16 guys goes through. Yeah. Okay, so he's only one of 16 guys that were invited. Correct, correct. So the Some odds, are... Mikey, these guys are unbelievable. So so we're matched up. It'll be us and another yeah. YouTuber and then two pros. So it's four foursomes of uh, – four foursomes. Um, okay. And, I mean, these kids are unbelievable. There's a yeah, 16-year-old yeah. playing in it that played the course yesterday. Uh, in the event. You know, I, I hope he plays terrible. Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ, Someone's dude. kid. He's not even an adult yet. He's Yo, so I, I'm so old. sick and tired. Of, like, there's a 12 year old that's going to come up next year. It's always like, you know what? This guy's got 50 years to play the sport and be successful. Like, I'd like, like give somebody else their moment in time. Joe, he's 60 the, years oh old. My God, man. Give somebody Just, else. He's got. He's got 30 years to play the sport. We've, we've <laughs> lost. Our, we've lost it in in the span of 10 minutes. We've lost. 
a complete state demographic of audience, South Carolina, and juveniles under the age of 18. No, I said I heard Charles lost that demographic. I, 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 no. I'll put my hand up on the South Carolina one. I will. Okay. That was okay. a bit of an over-exaggeration. But, but in, terms of the, in terms of those teenagers trying to make their way up in the world. No, I just, I just, no, Fuck it's them. just, it's like, come on, man. Like, 16 years old, good for you. You're great. That's awesome. But, like, you have, he's got such a shelf life to be successful. Give somebody Ooh, else an Perez? Who, Perez? No, the 16-year-old. <laughs> oh, 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 I was going to say. Oh. I was going to say, hold on. Oh, no, not Perez. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm saying that, like, this kid's got such a huge shelf life to be successful. Give someone like our guy a chance. Give our guy a shot to fulfill his no. dreams. Joe. I don't need some 16-year-old kid who doesn't even have a license taking away an opportunity oh, Perez, for my guy. Perez is, Perez is like a gallon of milk versus this teenager <laughs> who's like who's like a bunker ration. Who's like, yeah. like a can food ration. It's Joe, 100%. He, you know what? He's, he's – uh, by the way, it, don't feel bad for Perez. Perez is living a beautiful, beautiful oh, life. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't I feel bad to for his dreams. So do you I. Know, I'm his. I'm his caddy. Me, I, I'm a little bit cool, to the man. point where, like, when I'm rooting for somebody in my corner, I'll be ruthless to the point where, like, Literally. it's 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 our guy against the world. Like, if you're not in our camp, then you're against us, and that's just how I've always been. And I'm just a rider till death. And like, I would, I would literally do anything for my king is it just so it's just the guy who shoots the lowest round that goes though. yeah it's not more it's just one guy one guy one round yeah. it's one gonna be guy. tough That's so tough. you know yeah. with any of these it's very tough it's a very tough course well it's one round it's like anything can happen on one in one round of golf that's like, exactly yeah. it yeah. Yeah. I, I, mean, gonna... I mean by the way with bob on the bag Everything always comes up, Bob. So he might win just because Bob's with him. Get I mean, if we're here. being honest, Mikey, you know this guy this made a guy deal with the devil. Bob has Bob's got that horseshoe planted firmly in his small oh, get the intestine. Get the oh, it's, it's, he does. It's an eighteen karat gold horseshoe that's <laughs> clinging from his <laughs> anal rectum. <laughs> <laughs> get the fuck out of here, man! That thing is so lodged up there, man. It's just, he sheds <laughs> golden nuggets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> get the fuck out of here i'm being honest bob i think that you being on his bag is gonna help him out tremendously we were at the welcome dinner last night and prez got banged bad and what I, happened I, he I was drinking this was a big you know this was a big you know dinner where everybody's there everybody's caddies are there it's like you know kind of like a wedding reception like with all the different tables and yeah, yeah, yeah. the guy goes up to make a speech to announce the different tea times the first time this has ever happened in the golf world where these youtubers are coming together oh, with a shot wild. to go on it really is it, it i don't even think I, I think perez would probably tell you we didn't realize how big of a deal this was going to be and it, it's nerves are there it, it's it's really That's we have true. the practice round today um but the guy gets on the mic and he's reading off the tea times and he gets to press his name and he's like, you know, teen off at 1020. And he goes, I don't know if I could say this, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it. And press next to me, I hear just press go. Oh boy. And he goes, <laughs> he goes, he goes fat Perez. We have fat Perez in the 1020 slot. I started howling, laughing. I yeah. was in tears because press just always gets, Bang! Like he just well, that's his name, Bob. It is, but he just for for the guy to say it the way it's one thing. We just wish that he said it, like he just said, "Fat Press." When you say, "I don't yeah. know if I could say this," yeah, yeah. then it then it makes it very awkward. Really putting it in the spotlight there. C correct. So it it made it very awkward. I mean, it's okay. Fat Perez LLC. The guy goes by the big guy in his emails. Like, I mean, it's it's pretty out there at this point, you know? It was. But, you know, all these guys are taking it so seriously. Oh. And they all ask Perez, yeah. like, did you practice and stuff like that? Like, practice? Perez practice? Dude, we're talking about <laughs> practice? <laughs> oh, man. Not, 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 a, not a game. We're talking, <laughs> practice. We're talking about practice. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, Whereas I the day that I was there, he was looking for any, and he was like praying for rain. There was like a couple drops. He's like, "No, nah, we got to rain out." I'm like, "It's not even. It's sprinkling, dude." <laughs> he did not want to be out there. Yeah, he sounded like the weather forecast. We saw like a sixty percent chance of precipitation, so we canceled everything. Never rained. It, oh, it was, it never oh. Rained. oh man. Yeah, but it's look. gonna be wild to see him out there though. 
it, dude, I, I'm 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 nervous for him to be honest. I I really am. It's a it's a big. You big think it'll deal. be tense when you're out there? Like you think it'll be the a way these, tense? the way these guys were handling handling it yesterday. I mean, they're taking it seriously, man. Yeah. Like they well, yeah, are. Bob, really... it's a chance to play in a PGA tournament. They're doing like a documentary around <laughs> it. There's there's like security to make sure that nobody gets in because they can't leak the results. So there's security like around the course to make sure is, nobody gets in. Michael, how are, gonna, are, how are they going to guarantee that nobody leaks the results when it's over? We have to sign an NDA. NDA. Oh my God, now, Michael. When do they reveal? The, when do they reveal who wins it? April. Get the fuck out of here! Are you kidding? A yeah. month? Yeah. That's ridiculous. Mikey, they're making this into a huge thing. If and apparently Perez, there's guys... if Perez wins it, how the hell is he? Whatever, whatever. That's I'm, wild. I'm That's worried. I'm, I'm a It'll dude. be I'm first ready. leaked on the brilliantly dumb show. Sure. The hey. biggest hey. week we've ever had in terms yes. of downloads. Yes. Yes. By the way, if you want to see the results... Look no further. Just come <laughs> right on. Come right on. <laughs> in the Rolling Dumb Show. Um, no, I, I, I wouldn't do it. Folks, we interrupt the Rolling Dumb Show to let you know that the Rolling Dumb Show is brought to you by the fine folks over at AG1. I'm telling you right now, Athletic Greens is the real deal. I take it every single morning. Every single morning, I'm suiting up with the one, the only, Athletic Greens. It's just one scoop mixed in water once a day, every day. It makes me feel energized, helps your gut health, and does it all. Do the right thing. Knock down some AG1 today. You can't go wrong. If there's one product I had to recommend to elevate your health, it's AG1, and that's why I've partnered with them for so long. So if you want to take ownership of your health, Start with AG1. Try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase exclusively at drinkag1.com slash dumb. That's drinkag1.com slash dumb. You cannot go wrong. Start your day right. Take care of your health. Take ownership of your health with the fine folks over at AG1. Athletic greens to the moon. Fellas, let's get into our, uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's get into our buy or sell segment. Let's get into our buy, buy or sell segment of the week. What did you see that you liked? What did you see that you did not like? Um, we'll also get into the snake draft results before we do the snake draft. We have what I think is going to be the most fun snake draft we've ever had later in the show today. Um, but in the meantime, let's get into buy or sell. And let's start off with the Mikey V for the buy or sell segment. All right. Um, I'm I'm gonna sell a couple of things I really didn't like this week, but they're both semi related. And it's an, it's inflation shortcuts is what it is. It's inflation shortcuts. Jesus the NY the NYC MTA the NYC MTA and Wendy's. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm sorry. You're going at Wendy's again, dude. Third, what listen, is, bro. Is, listen, man, bro. We're killing any listen, shot we what got. What are we doing? Listen, I'm, I'm just saying that the surge pricing from Wendy's coming out, that news on the same week where the New York City MTA is going to have congestion pricing, where people driving private cars in the city are going to get whacked by cameras that pick up their license plates if you're driving during certain That's times. That's outrageous. That is outrageous. $15 to $20 whack job if you're driving during certain times in the city. Yes. Wait, go, yes. so explain that. Explain that again. Okay. New York City is, is doing something called congestion, congestion pricing, where if you are not an emergency service vehicle, someone with a, uh, you know, um, uh, a physical handicap or something like that, um, and you're just driving your private vehicle. You're not in like a ride share. You're not in a, a taxi. And you're driving in New York City during certain hours. They're whacking you with a congestion price. Joe, fifteen to twenty dollars. This Joe, is not bullshit. You know this damn well. Bullshit. You know damn well why that bothers Mikey V because he's not <laughs> going to be able to be rolling in those big old Daytona rides anymore. That's that's <laughs> why. What? This is a private show for guys. If that affects anybody. It affects the man to the top left screen here. Me? Oh, for, yeah. for sure. I don't, that's drive, I don't drive in the city. I don't nope. I could care less. I think it's just disgusting. I think but, it's disgusting. But is that if they pick up a passenger? No, I think it, no, no, no. It's, it's, if you're driving your private car, let's say you're going into the city for whatever reason, during certain rush hour times, there's ca the cameras that they use in the city to pick up, you know, your license plate numbers, easy pass, 
all of that, you're going to get another 15 to $20 surcharge if you're driving during certain times. Oh, I thought you meant like yeah. a chauffeur. Type no, 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 no. Just if you're driving your private car and it's, it is just so ridiculous. I just, these are these, these inflation shortcuts yeah. and like, no, no disrespect to Wendy's, but what do we do? This is not Uber. You can, you're just going to make the ba junior bacon cheeseburger $2 during certain hours instead of a dollar. Like that's not right, man. It's not right. It's not right. Oh, I'm wow. sorry. I hate, right. to, I hate to go at Wendy's again. Oh, there's guys. Not a, but he's not wrong. I mean, he's not, it is, it is. It is pretty crazy. I mean, he's I not expect wrong. the regular man to just live in this world anymore, dog. Between interest rates and the price of a of a dozen eggs, and it's just and now this, just this, like it's just it's lazy shortcuts, bro. Stay That's what it is. It's lazy shortcuts. I'm selling it. I'm selling it hard. It, it, we got to be better as a society. We got to be better. <laughs> we have to be better. Society. Yeah, we, we have to be better. This is unacceptable, man. I, how can you charge somebody? Twenty dollars because they're driving their car in the city. It's just insane. It's just in, it's insanity. It's it's there's they make you spend so much money on so many things. Like I honestly don't know how a lot of people are making it, bro. I, I really don't. It's, 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 it's tough. It's crazy. a tough time, Michael. It's crazy. New, New York City, especially that used oh. to be a place. I you know me and my friends would go there all the time, and it was such a blast. What what a what a dump it's turned into. And now we've gone for South Carolina, and we've gone for New York City. But oh, I, but we're, I say, we're going in New York City, the MTA. We're not going at the city for. And also, you know, one of the greatest parts of New York City is is of course the breezy lounge at Five Iron. Sure, if you haven't been there. I would sure. I would recommend paying that place. Well, we'll be there time. next month. That's, oh, that's right. This actually month, this month now, this month, technically. Joe. This that's month. That's exactly couple, right. Couple weeks, couple weeks away. Joey D, what do you got for us? I'm selling something this week. I was gonna buy, I was actually gonna buy Sonic because we had a great experience. But after that would have been a good buy, that would have been a fun buy, probably. It's a fun but buy. You know what? This has to be addressed and has to be addressed on the show. And to, to be quite honest, it's it's impacted my overall experience within this realm to the point where I just it's it's not for me. I'm selling AI. I'm selling AI. I'm selling a fucking hard. It's overplayed. It's overdone. It's 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 not even that great. It's the same shit over and over again. And quite frankly, some people, when 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 given to the wrong hands, could use it in, in, a, in a manner that is destructive. That is um, a little bit um, disrespectful. And to be quite frank. To be quite frank, just not okay. And uh, what I'm referring to is um, what I wow. saw the other day um, from our dear friend, Michael, um, a post that was just not necessary <laughs> to put up in any shape or form. And, you know, no, it, be did very, it did very well, though. Oh, I'm sure it did. I'm yeah. sure it did really big numbers. <laughs> um, to be honest, it's Good like numbers. this is just like a repetitive thing. And Mikey goes through these stages where he finds something <laughs> that he thinks is a new trend. It's cool. It's, a lot it of people puts like him at the, the top. AI. I tell you what, man, you banged me so fucking bad on that AI I didn't, picture. But I that didn't bang you. Though. Did. Let's, but you I didn't bang you. Let's, 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 what you I didn't you bang you. The photo I typed before. in, I typed in man running 40 yard dash at there the combine no... and put a picture of your face. And that's what it spit out. I don't control the AI. That's why it's artificial intelligence. It's artificial. It's it's not man-made. They're doing it, not me. Did you see? And by the way, you look like you could bench press 600 pounds Mikey, in that picture. Mikey, you look like a powerhouse. Just, let's just so people that is know. So full of shit. Just you, you don't, look like you don't fucking... look like you don't look like you could squat like 700 in that picture. I look like Gilbert Brown, dude. I look Brown like I was an all-pro defensive tackle. He was also 340 pounds. He was a hell of an athlete. <laughs> Give me a break, Mikey. When you saw the photo, first of all, Bob, there is not a world in which he didn't put belly or fat or <laughs> some kind of fucking descriptor. So low brow <laughs> beneath me. I would never do that. I would never do something. Mikey, never. I'm fatter than Perez in that photo. Like, now that's insulting to Perez, though. I mean, like that's that's a shot. Like and Perez I, I, looks like a horse in the photo that you put him he's up. He's got huge quads in that picture. But this is what AI does. I don't and, control what and AI that's, does. And that is why I'm selling it because it's way, fucking. Okay, that's fair. It's not foolproof. 
by the way, That's Mikey funny. looks tremendous. In oh, this. this guy looks like the guy <laughs> looks like he's going for fucking. He looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger <laughs> in his fucking prime, dude. Every picture that Mikey has put up of himself has somehow been like <laughs> very modest in this picture. Show the modest. Rolodex. Show the Rolodex. This is the modest. story of Dash Tomorrow. Okay, that so, is one of the worst. <laughs> Dude, I had people Joe, look at me the, all Joe, day. look at this delt. Look at that delt. Can you do it like your military press 300? Can you swing it over? Can you show the full swing picture of everybody? Like, can you go to Show H- my person? gut in that photo. It's outrageous. And you saw that. Oh, <laughs> and it's his dash. Dash DeMar. <laughs> right in the 4, 4, 8, 4, 40. 4, 8, 4 at that size may not be too bad, honestly. <laughs> Yeah, but the why did Perez use... look so <laughs> Perez looks like a horse, dude. He does. He looks like a Clydesdale. You, there's no world where you oh, saw oh, that and you're like, oh, oh, this was a bang job for Cutsy. I should maybe try another photo. You saw it. You thought it was hysterical. <laughs> and you decided <laughs> willingly to make that adjustment to post that photo. I had people DMing me saying, dude, have you seen Twitter? I'm like, no, I don't have a Twitter. Well, you better check we this out. Get well. We got to get, we gotta we gotta get, get him Twitter. on Twitter. We, we, we got to get, get that. You know what? And that's the moral of this whole story. I think. <laughs> no, that's that's not. really what. No, yeah, it's so. not. I think the moral of this whole story the is that Joe Twitter. You woke up and chose violence. <laughs> no, no, Joe. No, no, no. See, we're supposed to be able to laugh at ourselves. Now, you guys have posted plenty of embarrassing moments for me, and they were real. This is artificial. A computer made it. It's not even real. It's fake. It's I fake. will tell you. When not Joe like you actually look once like it that. becomes created. I'm gonna once make a cr- fat, I'm gonna make a fat picture of myself somehow. I'm gonna try to throw it into the algorithm, even though I have no idea how to do that because it's artificial, and I'll post something embarrassing of myself. By the way, yeah. By the way, with the way you've been eating lately, you ain't that far away from being in a fat picture. Whoa. Like, whoa. Whoa. I'll whoa. tell you one thing, man. I saw a little beef belly the last time we were in Daytona. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you should start taking some more of those cardio workouts you're giving the only subs. Whoa. I know. Whoa. I know. Whoa. I'm not trying to I'm not trying to bag you. I'm That'd just saying. Good. I I've seen him weeks. in a much better physical specimen than he yeah, is right listen, now. He's not wrong. I, I had a cu- I had a tough stretch there this between Arizona and did- Daytona. I did for sure. But I'm back. I'm back. This though. guy's the weeks. Dairy Queen jester with the amount of ice cream he's consumed. <laughs> it's a problem. Last week, it's a problem, bro. It's a, listen. It, there's it, listen. I will be the first one hand up accountability for eating like shit. Uh, absolutely, I will be. Um, I got to be better. I, I have to be better. I got I got to work harder. I mean, this guy messaged us this morning and said, "Is there any way we can start the pot earlier? Because Holly's going to make a big breakfast. I can't wait to get my no, hands no, on no, 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 dinner, 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 she dinner. She wants to cook. Dinner. By the way, I'd love to know what she has on the she menu today. Sleeve, man. It's got to be a heavy Sunday gravy. It's got to be some oh, kind of heavy stuff. My. Maybe a little, maybe a little brajol, sausage, meatball, a little rigatoni, a little chicken cutlet, probably. You Whoa. know what? You know what? It's, she does? it's sixty-five today. Sixty-five and sunny in New Jersey. Unbelievable." You know that's well, fantastic. Sounds like you're just going to be at home eating. <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to go in the yard, though. I'm going to set up okay. my cold plunge tub. I got my cold plunge tub, Bob. I got you got a cold plunge? Yeah, sure did. Sure did. By yeah. the way. Wait, where are these cold plunges coming? Because Bob's got one. Now you got one. Wait, Bob got one? Yeah, Bob's got a sauna and Who'd you hit a up? Cold Who'd you plunge? hit up, Bob? They they came to me. Sure. No, oh, no, Mikey. Right. I swear I got a golden guy, boy. This the guy golden two boy. weeks ago. This was Bob two weeks ago. He goes, you're getting a cold plunge top? He goes, from oh. who, where, why, why, why? Now all of a sudden, somebody just you happened to reach out Michael, to him about a cold plunge you, top? You don't think there was a little Bob, prodding? You don't think oh, there was a little prod. prod? There was a there prod. Was, that's a there cattle a prod. prod. There was that's a, a cattle prod. There was a prod. Was a prod. <laughs> they, they came to me. It was, it, was a very nice, it was a very nice gesture. And not only did they give me the cold plunge, it's connected to a sauna, like the that's Joe nice. Rogan sauna. That's nice. Yeah. Whoa. Really? Yeah, but now. Now, where do you set the sauna up, though? It's a great question. I think His everything's got a backyard. Could you get the fuck out of here? I don't even. <laughs> is the that way, right, Joe? I, How big is Mikey, the yard? Joe? I don't. I don't it's have big. A yard. Look at Joe's it's, face. There's Look no at Joe's yard. face. There's Mikey, no you yard. Got, got listen, you got, got no it. He's got a three-story townhouse, so he could build in the basement. He could put wow. it wherever he wants. Three stories. Three Mike, stories got, for a single guy. Mike, you got a three-story house. He's got a family of four. It's very modest, Bob. 
it's very modest. You've been here. It's a very modest home. Now, three story <laughs> townhouse in, in oh, Jupiter. That's ah. <laughs> now you got to Yeah. If you're listening to the audio, I would highly suggest you head on over to YouTube and subscribe. Like uh, <laughs> dumb shell, because you're going to want to see the facial reactions to when Joe's describing Bob's backyard. His cool. eyes light up like a child at Christmas morning under the tree. If you don't I, think I'll be spending some time over there, Michael, you are mistaken. Sure. I mean, I would. I By would. the way, you know what's wild? Perez is going to be living pretty much on the same street as me. Perez is a hundred feet away from me. Joe is a forty-five second drive from me, so it's going to be like an episode of Seinfeld. Now, I could see Joey D making a move to where he pulls like a Kramer to where like there's no knock on the door, there's no comes in. where he just comes firing in. Well, I would. I was actually going to say, you know, I think that it would be smart that we exchange like an extra key for each other so that in the event that, you know, something happens and we need to go in and check in on the house now, or Bob, do something. You're, Bob, you're really, you're, you're really in a precarious position because how could you deny Joe a key to your home when you gave a key to your cleaning lady? I mean, I mean is, yeah, you almost have to provide the key now. You can't even, you well, can't it's also just for excuse. like, you know, maybe say some, some, something he needs a delivery coming or you need sure. something. Guys sure. got deliveries all the time. Maybe right. you need to open up and like let someone in, you know, like he's got deliveries all the oh. time. Yeah. That, by the way, that's when you, so, get, that, when you get to that next tier of influencer, like they just, people just willingly are sending you stuff just, just for the shits and giggles. And you, you know. know what? To be honest, I there's some stuff. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining by any means. Joe, do me a favor. Would you get off the phone? I'm, you... I'm I'm doing recon, Bob. I'm doing recon. But but, but that but you would think that that's something that would take place prior to the program. No one would think. One would. But, think. I mean, wouldn't that take? I mean, don't you do the research prior to the program? No, normally, I do. I I had a busy morning this morning, so I didn't have a chance. Let's break down what happened. Yeah, this yeah. I'd let's like dive. Let's, down. let's from dive the into moment, that. From the moment you opened your eyes, let's let's hear. Let, let's let's hear get about off. Let's get off of my backyard that's non-existent, and let's go over to. Wait, what, what do you mean it's non-existent? I don't oh, have a backyard. A, I don't have it's a existed, backyard. Michael. Dude, He's got an no, I mean, it's big enough to fit a sauna and a cold plunge. Uh, so that right there tells you <laughs> what you need to know. <laughs> So <laughs> who knows how, right. how big the sauna is? Maybe it's a four man sauna. He maybe said it was the have, Joe Rogan sauna. Maybe we could have a little. It shift. looks like it. What is it? it, it a it's shift? Shaped. What is it called? Uh, what's it called? Like the Jewish sauna? They called it sh uh, shift. the Schwitz. The Schwitz. 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 Yeah. Maybe we get all yeah. the Schwitz in Take there. Take a nice Schwitz. That's what <laughs> Schwitz. Perez well, gonna be Schwitz. living. He's just gonna go in one day. Perez just gonna be in there. Yeah, Perez that be I living in that thing. That that I can see. I I tried to do Schwitz in Italy when I went into the sauna with that guy, and <laughs> oh, it didn't work right. out to him. That's right. Yeah, that's that, right. That's that right. That was the classic. Uh, you know what? You're out of line. Ladies and gentlemen, this episode of the Brilliant Dumb Show is brought to you by BetterHelp. BetterHelp.com. Whether you are in a funk in your life, you need somebody to talk to, somebody to help you get back on track, BetterHelp.com is the place to go. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional additional charge. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash BDS today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash BDS for 10% off your first month. Go over to betterhelp.com, get everything back on track and do it the right way. Talk to somebody today, betterhelp.com. Back to Joe's yeah. morning. I'd yep. like to hear how, let's hear how busy it was. I, I, I would too. Um, I woke up. I woke what up. Time? Um, what time? Seven something. Seven. He, seven something. You know. He wakes some, up early. I had some. That. Had some. You know, special moment with my woman, and then um, we uh, then proceeded to take the dog for a walk. We had to get the dog walked and and up and at him. Um, then I um, went to the gym. The full workout. Wow. wow. Full workout. And then um, after the gym, went out over to Panera to pick up, you know, the Sip Club. <laughs> the Sip Club, right. The Sip Club. <laughs> the Sip Club is my favorite part of the episode. It is. It's it is. So good. It really it's is. It's just so good. Joe is ah. a, Oh, my God. It's the most Florida thing of all time, too. It's like, a, yeah, it's such an old man retirement. But yeah, member of the Sip Club. It's, it's, a, a it's, it's like a little, it's a little hub there, Bob. There's so many people who hang out there. It's a real, yeah. it's a nice little spot. It's yeah. a hub. Yeah. <laughs> it's Go ahead, Joe. Yeah, and then I mean, I went and got my sip club, came back, 
um, made a phone call, um, you know, and then, and I jumped on here. I, I literally didn't have any time. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about it normally, like you have your top five, but here's the thing is that like the snake draft, and I was thinking about you gotta it. Like come I had up my, with multiple. You need to have yes, way yeah. more yeah. Yep. than what. Yep. So yep. that's where I got banged. Cause I had like, I had in my mind, like my items that I was going to put. And then I did, thought about it and I was like, shit, what if they take the, like, they're probably going to take some of those items that's and then so I'm not going to know. So, and then, you know, we, we got into it. And so, yeah, Bob, I'm sorry. I'm doing recon. I'm trying to prepare myself. Okay. Let's hand up accountability. All right. Is that, is that though? Okay. Yeah, All right. There he sure. is. Yeah. I His hand so. up good. there. Good. Mikey, good. I, I will we'll move on from it, but I do want to ask, and I, I do want to show the different Rolodexes of AI because oh. I have a video of Joe when he found out when he found out about that tweet because Joe's not on Twitter, which needs to change this week. I, I, you know, I got to say something. I'm surprised that Joe reacted in the way he did. I'm I'm surprised he was that upset because honestly, not you know, he's he's such a guy that he rolls with the punches very well. Joe does. I feel like he's you know in all the videos and stuff, he's constantly getting you know bombarded. He's getting body bagged. He's getting banged. Whatever phrase he likes to use, that's what he's getting, and he takes it. He takes it. You know. In stride, I feel like everything goes off your shoulder. But now a computer generates an image no, to no fault of mine. I don't control the mind of the computer. And 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 I'm getting, you know, I feel bad. I genuinely you could, you, feel bad. You couldn't I'm run never another, run another... through AI again. But I, I'm going to tell you, there's going to be a lot of people that are disappointed by that. I think people love the AI. I think they're do. out of control. The if thumbnails are doing great. Bob, am I wrong? The, the, if the I, shoe I'll was say on the, the AI other foot, thumbnails are doing great. I have not had one good AI photo come out of me, which is fine. I don't give a shit. But this last one was. Beyond. I thought the NASCAR, the NASCAR, NASCAR wasn't was bad. Cool. NASCAR was okay, Joe. When you were in the car with the with the, with I the look thing. like a dopey fuck. But that being said, this last photo that came out was just so preposterously like this is not a simulation. This is this has been this has been altered. There there are some key phrases that have been placed in that alteration I, of that I, image. That's a big that, that's where I want to go. It is a big allegation. A big it really allegation. is. So and I, and I, by I the way, if I if the shoe was on the other foot and out of nowhere, Mikey, you got tagged, you got bagged oh, without the tag, I, and I then you laugh. you opened up. I can't tag you. Dead. You don't have Twitter. I can't tag you. You need <laughs> to get Twitter. We've been <laughs> bagging. I, I, I think yeah, I think we put Twitter. it up there thinking that I wouldn't see it. That my oh, eyes would catch yeah, light okay. of it. Yeah, because it was never. Yeah, because no one was ever going to retweet but, it or but, show you. Or yeah, okay. But Mikey, I know that the way AI work, does work though is you put in a picture. Correct me if I'm wrong. You put in yeah. a picture of somebody and then you type keywords. That's correct. To, to what it is. That's so correct. In Belly, those key keywords, that, were there anything? Obese. Were there anything at all? that pointed towards a big individual or to any be. type of fat chubby no anything, no any anything no, like that and no. what do you remember those keywords being? i remember typing in man i think i put white man because for whatever reason the first images that were getting spit out were us it with 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 white heads and then and then african-american bodies which is preposterous but i guess nfl combine they just went with what was in the algorithm again yeah, this is what fitting. i'm talking about so I put white man running 40 yard dash at NFL combine, put in the picture that I picked of each of you. And that's what's got spit out. Now I can't control, again, I can't control the algorithm of these things. It's far too advanced for me to. He is hiding that. behind the computer screen. And the I don't know, Mikey, to be honest, oh, I, yeah, I don't watching you. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Look at him. He can't keep a straight face, yeah, Bob. Because I, you guys I, are making me laugh. That's the point of this show is to make people laugh. You're making me laugh. You're very good at what you do. Oh, there's the deflection now. Hey, listen, it, is, deflection. it is what it is. It's done. But, you know, I, I just can't. Fathom. So do you want me to keep you out of the AI from now on? You no, want out of the AI point. space? It can't. Okay. That's our thumbnails okay. now. It, ha it has to be to, to, to some degree. Well, yeah. good to know. I'm going to look, I'm going to be, you know, promoting the brilliantly dumb show a hundred pounds heavier than what I currently I'm going to try to type in like skinny when I do one for Joe and see if that, if that'll reverse the, the AI. Sure. I would think it would. You okay. know what? I, I so realized, too. Bob, a, if that's the case, then AI has got it out for me and I just have to accept that. Yeah. And you yeah. got it out for 16 year olds. I don't have it. <laughs> that is ridiculous, so, Bob. Especially ones from South Carolina. I, I am rude for... No, I'm rooting for my guy, and anybody in the way can go 
collectively is, and respectfully is, go screw an themselves. Element, there's an element of that that I really respect, though. There is. Oh, look. There's I, an I, element of that. I, I really would go to war it. for anyone. We know in my that. Camp. We know that. We know that. I, and it's I, not I maybe that. you know. I think here's the thing. I think in my life I've realized that I am what you see. I, you're never going to get anything different. Unless I am very. I am. Vi- yeah, that's true. I am very misunderstood though. So when I get passionate about these things, the motive behind the re- the, the reasoning why I say things like this could de- definitely be taken out of context. When then somebody just like, wow, this guy's hating on this poor innocent 16 year old has nothing to do with that. I hope he has a long prosperous life and wins many tournaments. Just not, not tomorrow. This, not this one. Not tomorrow. I, I mean, hope this one he placed. I, I hope everybody in this tournament respectfully plays the worst golf of their life. And our guy goes on to take home the crown. And that's it. Yeah, and then think, after that, I, I hope what, everybody else does well. But it's just, I, I am rooting for Perez. He is my guy. He's our camp. Think about how great the world would benefit with a tournament appearance from Fat Perez being paired in a PGA Tour, like, live <laughs> tour. I mean, it would, the world deserves that. I'll tell you this. We deserve that. If he He's did get wrong. on to it, like, that PJ Tour event when fans were allowed, like if fans were allowed into this one, even now, even the qualifier, it would be nuts. I think it would yeah. be a total zoo. If fans were allowed into that PJ Tour tournament, it, Perez, it, it would, would look like Tiger, Tiger circa 2010. You know you what I mean? So. Oh, oh, I Mikey. think. It would be all over social media. Well, maybe not Tiger Woods, but not it would be all over crazy, social bro. media. Not, no, not mean, actually. Not, absolutely. absolutely. I'm, I'm exaggerating with Saying the, the crowds Tiger. that would follow him would be. Dude, he, oh, he would I agree have, with that. I agree with that. Yeah. Oh, he would have a massive, massive fan base Gallery. around him. Yeah, it's it it's it would be pretty crazy. We're gonna have fun. I'm gonna talk about everything but golf with him. I'm not gonna. Oh yeah. He's not gonna go. I'm gonna be giving him the numbers with the with the range finder that they're. What are you eating, Joe? <laughs> and why did you? Just... <laughs> what is that? Avocado toast? No, it's a fried eggs and a bagel. Oh. Wow! Can you show me that actually, Joe? I'd like to see that. Well, now it's all disintegrated. Bob, Bob always wants to put eyes on a good bagel. Looks like he looks pretty good, man. What is that? Yeah. What kind of bagel is that? I don't know. Everything bagel is in. It looks more c- cinnamon raisin. I'm not I was going to say it looks like a blueberry from a distance. It yeah. Looks like. Why? What are you eating with a knife, Joe? A fried egg. <laughs> oh, my God, man. <laughs> that, that, you got to does... watch the YouTube. The audio is just, it doesn't do the show. Hey, justice. pick off on that AI. AI. He would like. (laughs) (laughs) He just fucking hates AI. It's great. He he does everything before, during the show that you would think you would do before and after. He'll run errands during the show. You you know what I mean? We we were on a call the other day with like, you know, manager, lawyers and whatnot and everybody. You hear him at the grocery store. You hear him going through the click, click as like (laughs) each thing as, and he's like trying to make a point and it's like a big call and you just click, click. click. (laughs) (laughs) Price check on uh, Colgate toothpaste and I I thought I had a good point to be honest, but that's neither here nor there, I guess. Um, you know, sure, what I do, point. we're going to play the clip of, of Joe finding out about, about the AI. This, where I look that fast. No, I'm <laughs> saying it's just from here up and it guesses. Well, you know what? It guessed terribly wrong. Yeah, I'm just saying. <laughs> that is the worst guess in AI history. If Perhaps. That's the case. Absolutely. I look like Gilbert fucking Brown, dude. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah, a 300 plus pounder. You look like a Laramie Tunsil, dude. Bro, I look like the fucking starting guard of the Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> like, what are we doing? It's a tough scene, dude. I look like a blimp. There's no photo on the face of the earth. Mikey and, and, and by the way, it, my, my badge says dash. <laughs> For him to see that and be like, yeah, I'm just going to put it out anyways, is one of the It's a bang job, that part. I think with the reason why that he got upset with it, correct me if I'm wrong, Joe, he just came off a bang job off of, there's a YouTube video out there with him and Grant Horvat, who we love, big friend of the program, phenomenal golfer. He's playing in this qualifier. One his, of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. I best. actually hope he plays well. If Perez will yeah. win, I want him to win. His editor... Banged. I Joey think you're over exaggerating a little bit. Bob. I com- I confirmed with him last night at the dinner. 
I'd he banged him. It was yeah. an intense. He did it on purpose. Mikey, the Mikey, video. You have to watch the first set. But Bob, play for him. I, I will. I absolutely will. The first start of the video, it's just a zoom in on Joe's stomach. And oh. all you see is his stomach. Show him. Joe didn't think not that right, he was. Man. It's not. It, it's really I didn't not. think it was an intentional bang job. If it was an, it, it was. The tape, the tape never lies, Joe. Uh, well, let Mikey tape. see it. Let's see. Let's see. I, I'm loading it up now. For Play him, with the music. For Joe not to know and think watching it that this was a bang job um, is crazy to me. But it was. I, I saw his editor at dinner last night. From Now it's fucking hysterical. Ready? <laughs> oh, my God. It, I mean, it, really... it is hysterical. Ready? Oh, it's, it's not loading, Bob. No, it okay, is. Here we go. Play the music. <laughs> Look at this, Michael. Look at that. An underneath <laughs> shot has never in the history of man. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna I don't say think it's, it's that bad. No, not... Mikey, Mikey, watch again. Watch how it starts. Ready? I, mean, I saw it. This guy loves creating narratives, man. He's a pretzel master. Look right he here. Does. Look right here. You're telling me that's not a bang job? He said look, it. I, it's, I, it's just it's I, I, interesting how time. they it's interesting how they started at the midsection and then just went I, I, rather I, than I, like I, starting I, 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 I thought like time. starting in the sky or at the ground would have been the more appropriate thing. But I then look, again, I I'm not a cinematographer, time. so I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a director, an editor, I don't know. It's a it's a one hundred percent bang job. And um I've been banged by it too, but you got to, the video is great, by the way. And we do love his editor, Skyler. I mean, we're, we're very close with all of them, um, which is why I think he had the freedom to do this. Um, but we were watching it and Joe didn't think it was a bang job. And for him to not think that it, it was crazy. I I'm going to say this. I don't think it's that bad. I, I really don't. I, didn't think it was I, I really that don't, bad. Bob. I, I don't. I, I think it's interesting. It's interesting that they chose that shot, certainly, to start. But I don't think it was like, I thought when you said a zoom in, I thought it was going to be a fucking <laughs> zoom in, dog. Like, I thought it was going to be up close and personal, a couple feet away. Yeah. Joe, I don't. I think you're okay there. I really do. I think it's all right. I, oh, I, I, man. You know. I've got to make some changes, Bob. No, Joe. I got a wedding. I got a wedding coming Joe, up this summer. Joe, you look better. By the way, you got great shoulders. Joe, yeah, nobody's lose. looking at me in a tuxedo. He's got good shoulders. Shoulders, got good look, shoulders. shoulders and that back. Delts have looked well. And yeah. the AI picked up on that. They AI did. picked up they on did. the shoulders. They definitely they, did. They know, picked up on something because everything else now, was. J Joe, you could lose before that wedding. You need like two weeks before that wedding. You could Come lose to my sauna. 10, 10 Come pounds. Come to my sauna. Drop. Quick, quick. Yeah. You, know, you know what I'm thinking about doing? 72 Actually, hour, not, I, 72 I, hour water fast. I'm not even going to say I've been thinking about doing that. I'm not I'm even going to say this it, because I'm not even going to say this because it's going to get completely taken out of out of control. Here. I know what he's going to say. Don't no, say you like have the, no idea. Oh, I, I have a couple guesses. Okay, not what like, is it? Not like the cryo freeze thing. Oh, I know, he, I know. What's I know. I know what he's going to say. I know what, what he's, he's going to say. say. Just say it, Joe. I would be but, shocked if Bob knew what I was going to say. He's been fascinated with this like surgery that they have now, where they like inject. Um, he keeps telling me about it. He's mentioned it numerous times. It's not a surgery. What, it's a what is it? Yeah, what it's a is procedure. it? <laughs> what, what, what is, is it? it? What is it? Ozempic? No. <laughs> Nick, what is that thing called? The thing where the uh the procedure? What is that procedure called, Nick? The one that you're <laughs> we're talking about? This is so good. With the coffee or the water that they put. What? <laughs> It's not a colonoscopy. Oh, oh no, no, no. It's 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 this thing. It's this thing where it's the easiest 15 to 20 pounds you'll ever lose, Bob. What is thing. it? Okay, I'm explaining. This is gonna this is gonna really I'm banging myself by saying this right now, but Just I'm gonna say it. Fucking it is a tube. This. You go in, they okay. take a tube. And they okay. lubricate the tube and they put it in your ass. And then they flush, they flush hot water into your ass. And what happens is all of the breakdown of all the fucking fat and shit that has been stuck in your stomach for like 10 years gets fucking drawn out. And you shit out like 10 to 15 pounds worth of fucking fat. It's like an enema, bro. It's like a- And like that's a exactly it. An enema. 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 I- I, Mikey, I Nicole was enema, enema. people lose 10 to 15 pounds in yeah, one sitting. I, 
Yeah, I don't know if you need to do that though. I think you could lose the ten. I don't well, that's an well, easy no, way. But Mikey, you said, way to lose it. you no, said that's this, an easy way to lose. This gut is like it's like chiseled marble. My your, gut, your is gut, your gut, rock. Wild, Joe, Joe's gut is like an old man, like beer gut. Like it's like a it rock. is so it is a fucking <laughs> rock. It almost <laughs> looks like a muscle. It's almost it does. Like, it does. It looks exactly. like I've done like like weightlifting with my yes. stomach. Yes, it's yes, hard. Yes. So my thought process is break down. Break down the materials inside this gut to like help like contain it. Sure. But Joe, don't don't you want to do first off, I don't think you're that far off. I think if you lost 15, no. 20 pounds, mm. you because you have muscle. Well, that's that's what I'm saying, Bob. This would be a get out of jail free card. But why not? <laughs> it would be very humbling. It would be very humbling experience. And to be quite honest, it would be it would be humiliating. But you're talking 15, 20 pounds just coming out of your ass? Like that's that that sounds <laughs> I mean that sounds that sounds like a pretty good deal to me. I just think like with pe maybe people that are obese, but like there's a way to lose the weight. <laughs> I also think just from a standpoint, like a mental standpoint, I think if you lose the weight the right way, I think you feel, I think you gain so much well, no, discipline. Bob, I'm going to the gym every day. It's, it's, it, you know, this, this guy it's these, has it's taken these fucking years. trips, dude. It's these trips. I'm telling it is, you, these, it trips, is, bro. these I, it, trips are fucking awful, dude, with the diet. Now, a sponsor really that we should talk about sponsorship wise it should be like one of these, like eat clean, bro, or one of those guys who do like the the meal. Mikey, prepping. I've had personal chefs. Them. I've had chefs mess message me say we I'd be your we we'd come on the trips and do a personal chef experience, like where he'd cook all your meals for you and get you healthy and like. But Lord knows how much that's gonna my cost. my I issue. Think, with I don't that... think people want to see it. I don't think people. I think people love the fact that we're pieces of shit when we go away. To be honest, well, Mikey. That. There's a lot of people that I, I I do think are very concerned for us, and I understand as that. they should be, as yeah. they should be, as yeah. They should be. And, and I I think there's a lot of people that don't like it. Like I've seen some comments of people who really don't like it. I part of it, you know, it, it talking about it is kind of funny the way we can go, but at the same time, it is concerning. Changes do need to be made, and I know what you mean about the e clean bro or anything like that. I've always looked into doing that, like a um. You know, something along those lines, because I I sure. love like meal prepping and having them ready to go. Any of those. I've never seen any of those where the food looks good. It always mm. looks like yeah. shit. You know what I mean, Mikey? I was going to this local place um, not far from me that was doing it for a while when I was working, like when I was still working like longer shifts and I was doing it. And it was really good, but it was like fresh prepared on site. And I was picking it up direct from the store. I don't know how meals like that hold up when they're getting shipped out in boxes, like cross right. state lines or far distance. Like, I, yeah, I, I can't imagine it looks appetizing. Some of those. Things. That's the thing. If you could show me something where the food really looks good and it's healthy and, and clean, I would be all in on that. I mean, I think that would be great. With that being said, you'll probably see us promoting something that we don't actually believe in within the next few weeks, but that, <laughs> you know, that's just the way things tend to go around here. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But look, it is what it is. Some changes definitely do need to be made. Like I even saw from the start of the trip, I looked at my stomach and I'm like, oh, man, you're no. looking good. Like you're there. Like you're looking good. I woke up this morning. I looked at my stomach and I could see that I visibly packed on five pounds. Visibly. It, 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 as clear as day. You know? It's tough. It's it tough. I, I mean, that, that Daytona trip. Arizona, I felt like wasn't too bad, but Daytona is one of the worst one of the worst three days in terms of eating that I've ever done. The ice cream alone was just oh, the ice cream. Yo, By the way, Mikey, I, I was going to be on my bike. If I didn't do the Sonic, uh, whatever that is. The freeze. Thing. The freeze. Oh, my. You're God. talking it about the slushy, be... the slushy drinks? No, 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 no. no. Uh, it's like a blizzard, but it might be as oh, good. Oh, yeah. See, you can't go wrong with that kind of stuff. You it's... can't. Now, I, I think Sonic has all the potential to be a great fast food chain. However, their food sucks. It, it, it's, well, it's, that's a big problem. That's a big hindrance on becoming a great fast food chain. <laughs> it sucks. That's, 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 that's an obstacle you got to get out of the way quick. It sure, it, it sure is. But, but we had, <laughs> like, I love the Dairy Queen Blizzard. Oh, um, this thing that we had from Sonic. Joe, would you stay with us? 
You're talking. I'm not I, interrupting. I am, I am talking, but we don't have your attention, and it drives me nuts. Would you stay with us? What was in the Sonic? What was in the Sonic version of you, their Blizzard? What was you like? Could choose it? whatever you wanted. Yeah. So what, what was your choice? I'm curious. I did. Reese's, Reese's Pieces had Reese's, to be in there. Oh, Pieces, yeah, yeah, Pieces with course. Fudge, Pieces. with Fudge. And yeah. then you know what the thing is that was with impressive fudge. to me, Mikey, is that they have they had consistent layering all That's the way correct. down. That's Whereas important. with the Blizzard, sometimes you get like chunks at the top, and the yeah. bottom's more of like an ice cream mix. It's not right. consistently no, this. Yeah. It was like they did layer by la it was it, it was pretty impressive. tremendous. Yeah, it was. yeah. That way, like 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 Seinfeld said in the, when he was sitting first class in that episode, you can control Sunday? your you control your whole fudge distribution if they <laughs> layer appropriately. You can control the distribution. That's, That's exactly important. right. That's exactly no, right. What bothers me too with Dairy Queen is, and a lot of places are like this. When you order it delivery, they don't give you the option to do the chocolate blizzard. It's all vanilla based vanilla. ice cream. And well, it should yeah. be vanilla, Bob. That's the way it should be. I, no. I Joe, I'm on that side also. But you but can't I chocolate am. takes over everything to the point where, like, if you're adding stuff, vanilla is a good base. If you're doing chocolate, it takes over like the base. I gotta agree is, with it, Joe. It on overtakes that. the toppings, Bob. That's why I, they don't do chocolate because chocolate's I, too overpowered. I think chocolate's so much better. I, I, well, I really it's, it's a gluttonous, <laughs> it's an even more gluttonous thing to do chocolate as a base. I don't know if that's true, Joe. It's Can probably it the same be? calories. I, I, mean, no, I don't know. It might Michael. be more more indulgent, maybe. Uh, maybe. I mean, oh, def definitely more indulgent. I just think the world favors vanilla over chocolate so much to where it's I don't not think so. Oh, when, no way. It's for chocolate our shit. world. For, We're living no, in a chocolate no, world, dog. Oh, but, this is a chocolate world through and through, Bob. But for Look at her ice cream. Cream. No, a was, for years was always just chocolate. They had to add vanilla solely, years later. Solely for ice cream, the world favors vanilla so much more in uh, my eyes. I'm not talking you took, candy. You think if you took a poll, vanilla versus chocolate ice cream, vanilla wins? Not a down? chance. You think so? I don't think so. Not a chance. Bob. I don't think, think so. about that. I don't know. That's a good question. I would think vanilla would. I, I, I'll throw, I I'll throw a poll. I'll throw. Oh, you know he's I'll throwing throw. a poll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. You know. I. He'll do know, an I AI of me eating chocolate and ice cream. <laughs> no, and that's not true. That's not true. <laughs> Which one? That's gonna... not true. I wasn't even thinking that. Yeah, yeah. The accusations By the way, you, you are know, flying you know, this morning, Mikey, man. AI is like sprinkles on top of a Sunday. You gotta, you gotta pick your, your your times where you're using it. You can't just go AI crazy like this. Who that's mentioned what you do. anything about AI with the poll between chocolate and vanilla? I said I was gonna put a poll out. Then you went off on I'm an AI. You did NASCAR. You did NASCAR and now. combine within one week, and he no, told no, me. Bob said he wanted to do AI for the thumbnails. So, yes, I've been doing more AI That's stuff. That has nothing to do with this AI combine post that you put up. Oh, the combine post was an inspirational, <laughs> that was an inspirational thing. Oh, I thought it that, was, that, that was a passion project. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> passionate fun, bang so. job project. Yeah. Oh. Um. All right, boys. It, it's Did you tough. actually buy or sell anything? No, he didn't. Bob? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm buying. My buy should be as clear as. Is it day. Sonic? No, it's a fast okay. food place, though. Mikey. Oh, oh right, 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 right. The right, right, Bojangles. Right, right. Mikey, have you ever had Bojangles? I've never had Bojangles. I've never had Bojangles. Good for you, Michael, because it would be a problem. Let me tell I've you something. Had, never... These guys pumped it up so much. Perez, Ooh, Joe. Perez. Oh, Joe, you've I had did, it before. I've only had it a couple times. It's in the Charlotte airport. Yeah, and I will say, okay. food-wise, Prez is good. Prez <laughs> really hasn't steered me wrong with this type of stuff, and he just raved about Bojangles. Of how Best good biscuits it is. in the business. I mean, the man, the man is a sophomore <laughs> yay of fast food restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't imagine he'd steer you wrong. He's a connoisseur. <laughs> he Bro, I, I have Respectfully. For, for somebody, respectfully, respectfully for somebody to compare, even try and compare like a Popeyes to a Bojangles, especially sides, oh, no. is disgusting. They should, it's really? despicable. Mikey, it's their sides are out of this world. Their chicken <laughs> is out of this world. Everything they do, their rice and beans, their mac and cheese, out of this world. They blow <laughs> KFC, Popeyes, all these places out of the water. And I was almost. I was almost pissed off that it's taken me this long to be on it, that I didn't know about it to the degree. Bojangles, I would say, might be better than Chick-fil-A. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And that's Bob's bread and butter, Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Wow. That wow. 
good. Wow. It, yeah, it's going to happen, I guess. It is absolutely tremendous, especially sides. Their sides, pound for pound, with any other of these places, I think blow them out of the water. Joe, you love those green beans, right? Yeah, they were very good. I love the green beans. The mac and cheese is great. Again, it's not too cheesy. Um, Really, really good. I I, I got a hard, hard buy it's there. It's a good buy. Yeah, um, on Bojangles. Okay. It's a good Fellas. segue. Good segue. Yeah, it's time wow. for our top five snake draft. Now, fellas, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was pretty clear. Mikey V took the cake in last week's NFL starting lineup. Joe, I don't think you had a bad roster where – I banged myself, though. You did. You and did. you know what? I didn't think about it. Did you like... see this, Mikey? Yeah, that he took the quarterback – yeah, yeah, I could have taken Montana yeah. with the last pick, and that's just like the mindset needs to we've be. We've only been more doing. We've in. only been. We to be fair, we've only been doing the snake draft for two weeks, so you know it's. But it's a hundred percent. It's a hundred percent correct. Like in the sense that, like that's right. I could. I think if I would have gone Jerry Rice and Randy Moss. Yeah. Yes. I was. I might. I, I, I might have made a play correct. to be in the yeah. top. Like I yeah. think that that one mistake really cost me. And then, of course, Bob's, you know, Michael Irvin and and, and Chris Carter, that was just horrific. But those Barry two. Sand, like, Barry Sandals. Barry Sandals. Yeah. I've had two. <laughs> that, was, that was so good. The Bahamas King. You know, I, <laughs> so good. I, I held it together last week trying to say that I didn't think my team was that bad after the same draft. When I got into the living room with Joe, I said right away, I said, my team oh, yeah. fucking stinks. I, <laughs> I, I, I've had two. I, I thought my first snake draft with the NBA, I thought I had a legitimate shot at, at Oh, winning, yeah. I have yeah. not fared well, and, and I'm due. So without further ado, fellas, what we're going to be doing for the snake draft here is going to be – we said, you know, the beauty with the snake draft now is we can revisit some of these great top fives that we've yes. had. Um, so without further ado, we're going to yeah. be doing top five fast food items. I'm going to throw in a couple stipulations that I want to run by the committee first before we get into yeah, it. that's fair. I feel that, for example – if you do Wendy's chicken sandwich, if you do Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich, somebody then can't go and do Wendy's regular chicken yes. sandwich. Is that fair to say? Yeah, 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 I think so. Does the committee approve there? What Unless about if it's a different? What about it's a, di a different chain's fast food sandwich? That's yeah, no, yeah, totally yeah, fine. That's fine. Totally okay, fine. Okay, okay. I just mean like, like if you said Wendy's regular chicken sandwich, Joe then can't say Wendy's spicy. Chicken so, like, if somebody steak. says, like, Dave's classic single, you can't, you can't say go Dave's, Dave's double. Dave's double. Yeah, Co yeah, correct. Yeah. Okay. Correct. But you could say what's, Baconator. What is, what is Baconator. Yes. What is the order, though? It's, I know it's, I'm one. I'm well, one. no, Mikey, you might want to go uh, the three spot this week. You said last time you want, you might want to do the back-to-back. -back. So you no. should decide where you go because you, you keep, won. I'll keep one as fine, but I don't know. Who, how are you guys going to well, go two and three? Well, I Joe, think Bob Joe, should be two. Joe came in second. So, Joe, you had – I did. Okay. Yeah, I think first. the okay. way the snake drafts will work is, Mikey, you won. So you get to pick what side yeah, where what you want to be, and then Joe gets to pick where he wants to be. I'll lead, I'll lead off. I'll go one. Okay. I'll and, Joe, wow. what, what selection do you want? Well, I'm, I would be stupid not to take the third spot because I get back to back. You're yeah. in the middle okay. again. So you got third back. Bob's in I, the middle. I this is a big, big draft for me. I have got to farewell in this draft. Yeah, this is a this is a gauntlet. So it really is. Are we ready? Yep. Okay. Now we're not doing honorable mention this week, right? Just no. five items. Yeah, okay. five items. Okay. I'm gonna go number one. Uh, wait, uh, wait, but one one question. I have a question. Sorry. Yeah, sure. Is this strictly fast food? Like, is In and Out allowed? In, it's a fast food place. In and Out is okay, a lot. Okay. That was my yeah. other stipulation. Chipotle, like Chipotle, is not. No, a fast no Chipotle. Food. I, they have to have a drive-through in my eyes. Okay. Yeah. So In and Out yeah. is 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 allowed. Correct. Yes. 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 Okay. I'm gonna go my my first one. I think it's a staple. Um, I think it's the, they're the best in the game, and I do criticize the, the the chain a little bit at times but i think i'd be a fool not to take it as the staple play i'm gonna go mcdonald's fries number oh, one oh, oh, i'm gonna go mcdonald's it, that's McDonald's huge. fries yeah, right? and that I is thought, I thought I, god damn i thought i was gonna be able to sneak that in 
That is really big. Now, here's a question, because you said, Bob, you can't take a chicken sandwich. You have to be able to take another chain's fries, because I think yes, fries yes, are so different yes, chain yes, to chain. The, no? Yes, the, yes, the, yes, the, yes, Mikey, yes. The only thing I meant with that is you can't do the same chain, same chicken sandwich. You can't do got spicy it, got it, got and it, then got regular. It, got, it, got it, got it, got it, got it. You know what I'm okay. saying? Bob, you, Bob, you're on the clock. Okay. Oh, uh, my God. I am going to go in and out Burger Double Double. Whoa. Oh. I want to get in and out right there. I, I'm so ready for this draft, man. Yeah, he seems ready. I really am. Oh. Well, I oh. said this is like this is like Bob's wheelhouse. I was like, yeah. this is like asking Einstein to pick his top favorite scientific <laughs> theories. This is just his wheelhouse. This is tough, man. I got to come up with two bangers here. Um, That's right. He goes back to back. Could be a big swing here. The first one I'm going to take, I'm going to go with the Crunchwrap Supreme. Damn and man. I just think that that's just Fuck. I have. Yeah, that's I, a great there's no play. way that was going to come back around to me. Yeah, no, it's a great um, play. Fuck. So I'm going to go with that for my first pick, and then the second pick I'm going to take. I'm going to take this too because it's not going to come back to me too. I'm going to go Dairy Queen Blizzard. No, no, sorry. <laughs> no, that's not it. Sorry, Ew. that's not it. That's not it. <laughs> that's not a bad play. Wendy's Frosty is Fuck. where I want to go. Okay, Wendy's Frosty is that's what fine. I want to do. Yeah, so that's my back to back. I got the, I got the pick that's I tough. wanted. I got that's the pick. Tough. By the way, are we calling Dairy Queen fast food? It absolutely is. I have a I have a real have a problem with that. Issue. I really well, listen. Do. He didn't go with it. He didn't go with it. So I let's think just say that's now that we can't do it. Off okay. the, I think the Wendy's okay. Frosty is a great play, Joe. Oh, I, Wendy's Frosty is a great play. Wendy's yeah. Frosty is a fucking. That's a great um, play. I got. There's I got, no way the, both of those are coming back to me. So like that's no, my that's my no. thought process is like I, I it might this be is, early, but like that's not going to come back to is, me. I got to have those. This is going to be a make or break moment right here. This, this is draft. a huge. This is this is a make huge or break moment. For me. moment. It is. It I, is. No pressure, I, Bob. I got. I got the exact. I got the exact pick I want. Um, give me the Chick Fil A. Um, chicken sandwich could be spicy, could be original, whatever. Give me the Chick Fil A sandwich, and I'm I'm very very happy. But this is where it gets deep into the cut. I'm gonna go Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich. Wendy's wow. spicy chicken sandwich. Uh, and then the next one. I gotta get. I gotta take a second here and look at what I got. Uh, give me, give me McDonald's. I, I hate to go McDonald's again, man, but I, I I just have to because of Joe's Crunch Wrap Supreme and the Frosty play is forcing play. me to go back to McDonald's. I'm gonna go back to the McDonald's. McFlurry. Well, give me McDonald's. No, give me the McDonald's Nuggets, dude. Oh, give me McDonald's that's nuggets. a really good give me play. Mickey D's Nuggets. I was thinking about throwing that in there, too. Um, This is a quick one for me. Give me the Baconator. Give me the Wendy's Great play. Baconator. Great play, man. That fucks me good. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. This is tough now. Dude, this, is a, this is a fucking spot. blast. Big spot for Joe. Big spot. I'm going to go Nacho Fries, Taco Bell. Good play. And now this is where it gets very interesting, man. I don't mind that play, but I think he could have had that as like his last pick. I... Oh, man. See, you now I got two Taco Bells. I got to steer away from that. I will go. Damn, this is tough. Oh, this is tough. Um, Give me. Give me the Big Mac. Give me the Big Mac. Uh, okay. Or McDonald's. Uh, I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna go McDonald's double quarter pounder. Great burger. <clears throat> we're so fat, dude. With cheese, <laughs> of course. With cheese, of, obviously. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Respectful. We're, we're so fat. <laughs> we're thinking. We're 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 taking this so serious. Like people have to know how fat yeah. we actually are. Like it's like you could hear a pin drop. This is worse than a draft <laughs> war room in the NFL. It's so bad. Like, it's really Mikey, so bad. Mikey goes great burger. <laughs> it's it is a great burger. I mean, it is a great burger. If we're being totally uh, transparent, we're so bad. Um, I think I have to go. I think I got to go a burger route because I I got to round this out now. I got my two picks left. You know, I don't have any dessert item, which is a little concerning. Yeah, I'm gonna. Dessert. I'm gonna I'm going to bypass the dessert item. I think I'm just going to because it was the frosty and I missed out on it. I'll just go without a dessert item. Give me uh, 
Give me the Whopper with cheese. Give me a Whopper That's a good with one. cheese. And then give me, to round things out, this is going to be a wild Are you going to do ride. dessert? No, I'm not. But I'm going to go breakfast. Whoa. I'm going to go breakfast. I'm no, gonna take, no. Yeah, I'm going to take. I'm going to go breakfast. I'm going to take no, the McGriddle. I'm going to take the McGriddle. Oh, give me the McGriddle. No. Really? That, that could be. My, maybe my last pick, man. Let me, pick, man. Let me tell you something, it. man. When you look back at this snake draft, that could be a very big swing oh, vote. Oh, my God. Oh, the passion. The McGriddle. Bro, the that, that could be a very big swing vote. I, I got what I wanted. Um, okay. With my final pick, give me the cheesy gordita crunch. That's really good. good. I was gonna do it too, but I've got already nacho fries and the crunch. Yeah, you wrap. got two, two, yeah. two yeah. items. Too yeah. many. Um, damn, you know what the breakfast plate was? What I was thinking smart. about. But now the really thing smart. is that he's taken that. I can't go sausage and egg McMuffin because I mean, it just you it's, could. You could. Yeah, For the could. last pick, I'm gonna take. Oh, jeez. The last pick, I'm going to take the Dave's Double. I'm going to take a Dave's Double burger from Wendy's. Because it's just got such a, a lot of beef in this thing. We got the, the Big Mac and the Dave's Double. Well, it's two out of five. I got yeah. three. I got three burgers. Here's the there. thing. I think I think Mikey. Yeah, you do. You didn't, you didn't you do. do dessert, Mikey. I think the dessert play is huge, but you did something out of off the off the, the off the path with breakfast. Whereas yeah. Bob's just all like Bob's is very good, but it's all like Bob, you have fries. I had, I had to take. I'm not. I'm not looking to make a meal here. I, I'm looking to go. You like I, I like. I like. I got a fries, Mikey. You have a fry. I have a dessert. So like, I have a couple items that are not just burger centric or like. You know, I think that that's a. It kind of rounds your pick out. But Bob, you've got a good list. The, the cheesy gordita crunch in the last pick. Yeah, it's a nice is, play. Is is really a huge play. The only reason I didn't take that earlier is because I took the crunch wrap, and I I just I wanted to have a little bit of versus crunch wrap supreme. supreme was a hot was high on my board. It was high. Oh, on my board. yeah, that that's a first. Hour that's hour. a first round pick. Yeah, I, that's a, that's a first rounder. Joe, it's a first I was, rounder. I was Late praying first that would come. Yeah, I was praying that would come back to me. I, I really was. Um, and it's good to not go with the sausage McMuffin because if you look at the list, Mikey V's breakfast McDonald's item is so better. clearly better. I know. I that know. it was good to stay away from that. Mikey, can you go ahead and you want to – well, let's all go around. You probably can't I, always write, I always write it down just in case. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and, and, and talk us through who has what. All right. My team, uh, I got McDonald's fries, Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich, McDonald's nuggets, Whopper with cheese, and a McGriddle. Bob has the double double in and out. Uh, he's got the Chick Fil A chicken sand. He's got the Baconator. He's got a double quarter pounder with cheese and the cheesy gordita crunch. Joe's got Crunch Wrap Supreme, Wendy's Frosty, Nacho Fries, Big Mac, and a Dave's Double. I think this is going to be very competitive. I do I think too, be very man. Competitive. I think this is Bob. One. Your list is actually pretty fucking good. The only thing is, it's it's very burger heavy. Burger heavy. Yeah. Burger heavy. You know what? I had to go with the best available player on the board. It, the in and out burger BPA. is good. The in and out double double in and of itself is going to get Bob a lot of love. Yes. Um, the only thing, Bob, is I think you went double quarter pounder after going. Like, I think that you could have varied off one of the burgers, but it's a Fair. solid, solid list. And then, Mikey, the the, the wherewithal this, to do the breakfast and the last say, pick, it could the, be the comments the that are going to come in when this top five drops about how people are going to just automatically dismiss all our lists because we didn't do like a raising canes. I had chicken fingers do, on I, there. I, I thought we didn't about it. Do, we didn't do like a like a like a White Castle like the sliders from White Castle. I had that. I also had like a lot Canada of that. Express There's going to be a lot of that going on. There's going to be a lot of that going on. Just so yeah. everyone's prepared. But I for think that. that what we took is like more traditional, like your top staple fast I agree. food restaurant. I agree. Like if you start I dabbling agree. with raisin canes and stuff, like I had it listed, right. and to me that would maybe be an honorable mention. But I think like the Wendy's. Taco Bell, McDonald's, McDonald's Burger, Burger King. King. That's yeah. like your four staples, really. Yes. And I think we we did a good job. Like in and out, I think has to be listed. So Bob did, but I think like aside from that, like we did a good job highlighting the main the main staples, the pillars. You know you what will, what would have been the fun fast food because like just as it gets deeper, it gets tougher. If you did like ten or fifteen items to see what you're taking in the twelfth yeah. round and like really dive in deep into that that. That's a blast, man. You know what Ticket told me? I think I've talked about this before, but he said it to me, and when he said it to me, it made so much sense. 
if the the difference between like the Big Mac and like any of the regular cheeseburgers at McDonald's, those are frozen and it's a different patty. The double quarter the quarter pounder uh beef is fresh beef and you could tell that it's a whole different dynamic. Now with the Big Mac play, it's such an icon. It's maybe the the Big Mac's probably the most iconic fast food item there's ever been. So I don't yes. think it's a bad play. So go ahead. Two items that I'm surprised both of you didn't include. First for Bob being the Baconator fries, because I know he Thought absolutely about adores that. And then for Mikey to not include the chicken. It's not, in, circula it's not in circulation anymore. It's tough for someone to who's that. such an advocate of that burger to leave it off. It's chicken, it's a chicken sandwich. Chicken, chicken sandwich. sandwich. You know what I'm saying. I thought you would have I thought you would have included that. If like Bob said, if this was one of those like 10, 10 spot drafts, you would have seen the chicken on there. It's tough to give something out that's no longer in existence. You know what yeah. I also realized is that people are so passionate about like what items they like that they're just going to, there's going to be a lot of opinions flying there's around be a ton of on the comments. Like there's to the point where like, like even if you say vote, like vote for me or whatever, this one don't matter because people are very no, opinionated no. when yeah. it comes to their fast food. There's nothing more engaging. I've always said there's nothing more engaging than food. Everybody's got opinion about food. That's why I do so many food posts. I mean, everybody has got an opinion about food. Um, you are going to see an AI thumbnail here <laughs> today. You are definitely going to see an AI thumbnail here today. But I'll tell you what, fellas, and I know I say it week after week after week. You buy your stock in the Brilliantly Dumb Show and you buy it right now um, to the absolute moon all eyes on March 22nd. The boys are all going to be together, which I think is going to be absolutely spectacular. It's a fun time to be a part of the program. We've been getting a lot of support, and we appreciate you. Like, comment, and subscribe. Fellas, I love you. That has been another edition of The Brilliantly Dumb Show. Fat Perez, good luck tomorrow. We love you all. We appreciate you all. The Brilliantly Dumb Show.